Welcome everybody, my name's Bill, uh, KGK Lord Bill to you, I'm one of the co-founders along with Phil Brown from Custom Controllers of Custom Gaming Community and today I'm going to do a quick video review uh, of Platronics headsets. I did a review that went up on the website that was live yesterday. So I like the slogan and get it in there. Gear up, get good. Why not? I like it. Okay, so today I'm going to do the a, a, a small video overlay of uh, the Platronics Rig 500 Pro and the 800 XL. Uh, the 500 uh, Pro is 69.99 across uh, the three platforms, Xbox, PS4, and PC. The Platronics eight, uh, Rig 800XL is a $159.99 at Argos at the moment, um, and it's a phenomenal headset. So uh, there's a small competition coming away at the end, which I'll mention, where you can win uh, an, uh, uh, a pair of the Platronic Rig uh, 500 Pros for Xbox and the 800 LX for any platform. So you get to specify which platform you want. And the, the lovely guys at Petronics, especially Julian, has sorted these out for us. So the first one that I'm going to bring up is the 500 Pro for Xbox One. Now, the main thing that's about all these is that it's the same across the range, is their modular design. Now, by modular, uh, you would initially think. You, wrong one. Uh, you would initially think, ah, oh, okay, well that means that it snaps apart because it means that they're easier to assemble in the uh, production line and therefore reducing costs. Well, you are right, that is true. Um, so I use Astro A50 Gen 3s, they're my default, and I am very, very wary of where I put them down. I game in my, uh, my armchair, and if I get up to go and do something, uh, then occasionally I am very tentative when I go to sit down. I know if I was to sit on them, I would break them. Um, and I'm fairly uh, slight. So I'll just talk you through it. So here's the, uh, the uh, 500 Pros. The mic is detachable. It's here. Uh, clips in and will come away again. That's it. Up to mute, down to use. Let's detach it now. Throw it in the box. Now the headsets, this is the same across the range. They have three slots. Just that simple. Move them up and down. Headband. Also detachable. Just take the other one out. And therein goes your headset. So, when Julian first showed me these things at the uh, EGX uh, last, uh, last month, he bent it. He went like that. He went, oh yeah, you can bend it. I was like, that sounds awesome, but give it to me. Let's see what I can do. And so, in fact, I bent it the wrong way. Right, now, if you sit on yours and you do this, then fair play to you. But it pings back together. Get the strap here. And the strap is now goes to there. Headset. Each earpiece clicks back on. That's it. Get your headset back. Just to test. Right, let's put it like that. I'm going to sit on it. It's pretty uncomfortable. You definitely notice it. Right, I'm wobbling about, and you can see my displays are wobbling about. Oh no, I broke it. <sighs> hey look, I got my headset back. Very, very, very cool. Very impressed with these. Um, only issue I found with these whilst playing uh, was the mic. Now, all of the Plantronics range comes with a Dolby Atmos code, activation code. Um, yes, you can get a free trial on the store. After that, I think its value is, if I'm honest, the only way I've found it is in dollars. It's around $15. Uh, inside all of the headsets is a 40 mil driver. The spatial immersion from this headset, which I think, as I said, is 69.99, is phenomenal. It's amazing. 
I at no point playing the new Black Ops did I think I was at a disadvantage for not having been using my Astro 50s, which does happen if I have to use a recon or you know, some other thing. Uh, I always think, oh, gee, I wish I had my A50s. I I'm sure I would have heard that. No issue. No issue at all. Also included with that, obviously, the downside to the 500 Pro is it's wired for chat and sound. This bit goes into your controller. It has a variable control for volume. Now, I'll be honest, I never did find the exact perfect match between game audio and party audio. And occasionally, uh, party members uh, would comment that there was a little bit of static and, a, and, a, and, a, and an underlying whir um, when I was using that in party. Did not affect my gameplay at all. So selfishly, pretty good headset for me. Everybody else, well, you know, whatever. Then we move on to the 800 LX. Now, exact same module design again. Clips apart, everything comes off. But what happens in this one is, rather than the earphone cables coming through this top bar here, the support bar, this one actually runs through the top. So I've bent this around. You know, it's fine, but you'll see it comes back pretty much to shape. And that is, I'm assuming, to these extra torsion bars here that also run the cables. Um, I'm just going to put it back together for you guys and, and show you some of the details. So on the back of here, you've got the USB charging point, micro USB, master volume control. When you get to maximum volume, you hear a double beep, 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 maximum volume. In the middle, you've got power on, sync button and power off, obviously. And here, you've got a very nice um, game and party audio um, differentiator. This one, again, it still can get it just as perfectly as I could in my Astros by tapping the ear cups, um, but it's not as much that you would notice it. Uh, another nice thing is that when you lift up the mic to mute it, you get a beep sound that you've muted and a reassuring beep sound when you've unmuted. Again, Astros, up, down, oh, this side, up, down, up, down. Is it, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> also, which I hope works now, I'm just going to power it on near the microphone. But it probably power won't. Power on. Battery high. Headset not connected. Well, it's not connected because my Xbox is turned off. But an audible battery indication. And now onto the very, very cool piece, if the rest of it wasn't enough. The battery life of this headset is 24 hours. Now, my Astro, uh, even from you, would be lucky to get six, seven, eight hours out of them. Uh, the battery indication is on the base station, which actually for my headset is behind my TV, so I can't necessarily see it. If you don't get it on properly, and because they have to align at the bottom like that, if you don't get them on properly, it ain't charging. And you'll come to your gaming, and you won't be able to use it. This one also charges very quickly. I let this run out a couple of days ago, and I charged it for about half an hour, and I played for two hours with it still on medium battery. Now, I don't know, I haven't done the stats, I haven't done the test, don't hold me to it, but that's pretty good. Now I know it's new and you can expect it to charge well, but that, that is very impressive for me. Overall comfort and design, uh, as in my written review, uh, I like it. Military-esque, Call of Duty, Division, I like it. Now, there are sleeker designs out there. You've got the Turtle Beat 800X, great sleek design, Bluetooth compatibility, mobile phone app in order to control it. On this one, one of the benefits of the Turtle Beach over the Astros is the presets. The fact that you could alter stuff from, from movie mode to bass heavy to footsteps, footstep sounds. Now on this one, you get four presets. The, uh, don't remember what they're called. I tried this on the previous, <laughs> I tried to record this video. I couldn't remember them. I definitely can't remember now. The first one is seismic. Very, very good. Uh, so the first one is pure. Second one is seismic. The third one is an all round sound. Now I was playing Black Ops uh, 4 earlier with this and the number two, the seismic was very bass heavy. Uh, in fact, that's what I use for watching movies or action movies, you know, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, stuff like that. Um, for, for me, the third preset was perfect for, for Call of Duty. In fact, I felt it gave me an edge, which didn't really reflect in my performance, but you know, it's Call of Duty, what can you say? 
I was watching Guardians of the Galaxy in this and just testing it out because it runs off Dolby Atmos as well. And I could hear that scene with Groot running around as they're killing some space monster. Uh, I could hear it all around me. The spatial immersion in this and the 500 Pros was immense. I can't give it much more of a glowing review other than to say, as it stands, I've unplugged my Astro 50s and this is plugged in. The base station is just run off a USB. There's no optic cable. Uh, it's also very small, uh, sort of that sort of size, uh, easy hidden. I like these a lot. Like I said, I can't say much more about these other than the fact I've disconnected my Astro 50s. That should be recommendation enough. So what we've got coming up after the release of this video is we've got a competition where you can literally win them because I'm giving these away uh, because I've no need for them. And to be fair, the guys at Platronics have given us a set of these to give away. So part of the competition will be to win a pair of Xbox, because the, I already have these, Xbox 500 Pro, the rigs, okay? It'll come in the box, it's still got the activation code for the Dolby Atmos, because I already had it. And also we will be doing a giveaway for uh, the platform of your choice, the Rig 800 LX. I seriously can't recommend these enough. Um, absolutely phenomenal headset. There's nothing much else that needs to be said about it. Um, I will be recommending these for a long time. Anyway, my name's Bill. If you haven't already, check out our website for our reviews, games uh, at customgamingcommunity.com and also go over and check out our Twitter, which is customgk, YouTube and obviously Instagram as well. But I don't deal with those things, so I don't actually know the details off the top of my head. So anything else, check us out. Cheers, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.